We're really focusing on moving big blocks around and trying to find the easiest way to do it and we're drawing a lot of our inspiration from the Great Pyramids. Scientists still don't know just how the ancient Egyptians built the pyramids without benefit of modern machines. A team of ISU physics students spent the summer testing a theory. The idea is actually built on a, a famous physics problem that we have our students do in introductory level courses where you try to make um, a round spool move by wrapping thread around it. And if you do that, you, you pull on the thread on the top, it's actually easier to move the spool than just dragging it along. So this is pretty much optimized at this point. As part of the Summer Undergraduate Research Experience, or SURE program, the students started in a lab with small blocks, then worked their way up to larger blocks outdoors. I thought it'd be a, a good idea if you could just take those square blocks and turn them into a circular shape. That's the idea my students are working on now, in essence, using rods attached to the block to change its shape to something more circular. I came up accidentally with an octagon method, so just sticking one rod and changing the sides from four to eight, and that was a really easy solution. It took me a couple days and I had a general solution to figure out any block from doubling the, the side length. Students were unable to actually construct a pyramid during the 10-week SURE program, but they did co-write a paper giving them a great learning experience and helping future students who may pick up the ball, or blocks. Going into my sophomore year in college, already getting my name on a paper, that's a huge resume builder. Also, I'm getting a lot of experience with working in a lab, which will help me when I teach my students because I'll already have so much experience in a lab that I can better teach them how to do pretty much everything that they're trying to do. The Pyramid researchers were among nearly 40 students from a half dozen science majors taking part in the 2012 SURE program. For Indiana State University, with videographer Matthew LaTrenta, I'm Dave Taylor.